The crystal hollows in Hypixel Skyblock. The place to get gemstones, find buried treasure, get hearthstone, but you are far from alone. Every time you're mining hearthstone, there's a small chance for a worm or their rarer counterpart, the Skada, 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 the Skadoodle, to spawn. There's a very, very small chance that you can get a pet from this, and these pets are very expensive right now. It takes a lot, a lot of time and effort if you want to grind them yourself. And we all know what I think of effort. First, let's take a look at how these worms can actually spawn. There are a lot of spawn conditions and most of them aren't even very concrete, also on the wiki. So it has to be a tunnel that's two blocks high, one block wide, but it could be more, and the length is not known, but at least like 15 blocks. Now if you are in a tunnel of this size and you are mining hearthstone or whatever at your eyes, then there's a small chance for a worm to spawn. And they always spawn behind you and there's a text and chat and sound as well. The swarm will first move away from you until it reaches a border or a max radius and then it will return until it eventually hits your... Uh... To kill the swarm you have to kill every single part separately and they are all one hit. The loot you can get from a worm is gemstones. There's a 100% chance for a rough topaz and small chances for other gemstones. And then there's the skadoodle. So a regular worm is 5 long and then the skadoodle is 10 long. So size does matter guys. And it's about 3 to 6 times more rare. And has a different loot table as well. This is where you can get the pet and also find gemstones instead. In this video I will show you several ways of doing worms and skadoodles with the least amount of effort. So if you like this video and this drawing, make sure to like, subscribe and comment something nice for the worms because they have it tough. The first thing you need is just a regular pickaxe. But if you can afford it then get a jungle pick instead. Then there's the armadillo pet, it doesn't matter what the rarity it is. But mine is epic because that's all you need. And then the hardest thing you need, a friend. So when you're trying to ride your armadillo, well I said when you're riding, I said why, why am I? So when riding armadillos is not disabled and you ride like them, you will ride on top of them. And this will make you three blocks tall. And that's very important because the tunnel can only be two blocks high. So that's an issue, right? So that means we cannot use the armadillo pet unless we put our head in bedrock. Yes, in bedrock. I usually do this in the 200 by 200 corners. So that's the X and the Z coordinates. Just get to the top of the crystal hollows and then I usually go straight into the corner. Now what you can do as well is write your armadillo. And then open your F3 menu and make sure that your angle is exactly zero. So you're going in a straight line and then you can start going like this. This is a two block tunnel, so worms will actually spawn. That much, right? It does, it's breaking. Oh, block there's a, a worm. Worm, yep. Keep going, I'll kill it. Make a mess. Um, my armadillo is exhausted. We're almost at the end. As you can see, yeah, the armadillo does get exhausted, and that means that you cannot infinitely do this. So, what else could you do to make it AFK? My friend Bellcipher123 is riding his armadillo, and I'm placing heartstone in front of it, and this will instantly mine it. And since we are in a tunnel where worms can spawn, the worms will actually spawn behind him, and then I go and kill them. Right now I have to take the hearthstone from my sack every time that my inventory is empty and this takes extra time and makes it extra hard for me as well because I cannot just hold right click. From time to time a worm or a skadoodle will spawn and you just can go and kill it. Now the issue of the hearthstone. Because of a recent update you cannot pick up the drops from other people anymore and I'm also an iron man but this does work if you do it with your co-op. Hmm. 
Okay. I'm gonna put the queen. But uh, you can just do this the other way around, right? With the five. Oh, <gasps> something's bad. Oh, it's so warm now. Oh, um, man. You could do this the other way around with the same 5k hearts done, no? Like, what do you mean? Like, I sit on my armadillo, you place the hearts down. <gasps> Wait a minute! If you have people in your co-op, right? Mm -hmm. They can pick it up. Yes, that's what I said earlier. Yeah! You should try this with one of your buddies after... After you finish this. So I did it with one of my co-ops from the content co-op. Epic Gamer. Wow, liner. Clee. Should uh, have a worm by now, though. Yeah, where's the worm? Where's the is it, worm? Is it, is, is it really working? It I is. think you fricked me. <laughs> I did this before. Sometimes it, uh, there's like a while between. I don't know how it works. It's so dumb because I've gotten like two skedas pretty much in a row. And then like... 10 stacks of hearthstone without anything. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that I remember that's how it is. But are you sure that the stash thing isn't messing it up? Uh, I am because I'm not losing any hearthstone. Okay. I have I'm 49 legit items. Just away. holding down right click. And so technically, if I was wearing armor that could AFK kill the Skeda, uh, this would yeah, be... but like you'd have to, you'd have to macro basically, right? I mean, yeah, you have to hold down right click. Like, that's the only thing you have to do. Yeah. But you can hold down right click, watch a Netflix series on another screen, and just kill Skara. <laughs> so the way this works is because his inventory is full, he will not pick up the heart stone. It will fall on the floor, and I can pick it up because he's in my call. He was also using a jungle pickaxe. This is important because we're actually in the jungle part of the crystal hollows, which means that he will be getting sludge for the hearthstone that he breaks. In an hour you can make 200 to 300,000 points in sludge alone. And you're AFKing worms, so that's a pretty nice extra I'd say. But you can get issues where the worms don't spawn, then just make a new tunnel. Or try it on another server. And make sure your armadillo is centered in the middle of the path. That can also be an issue. There's also a second method that's super big brain that you don't want to miss. And it involves diorite. Hmm. You can find polished diorite in some places in the crystal hollows. Usually it will show you that you are close to the nucleus. And you can actually mine this diorite although you don't get the block. But because the diorite has an importance, it will actually respawn. Over uh, time, I am going to builder. Is it in classic build? Uh, no. Variety or stone. Okay. Polished diorite. It's two hundred per stack. That's actually kind of cheap. So next to your regular tunnel, make another one at one block high and fill that in with polished diorite. It won't cost you that much. And breaking this diorite will make worms spawn. A worm right there, right here. Dude, oh. right behind you. What the fuck? <laughs> See, it, it does spawn, right? We'll go this way. This. Oh. Worm. So you can do the entire row and then just let it regenerate back. But there are a couple of issues if you're making the pot. For example, Gemstones that are in the way because they will keep on regening. Is it in the way or was it just like. No, it wasn't in the way. This? No, it's not in the way. It All didn't right. break it. So we just have to fix this. Oh I'm my lagging. god. Uh, I mean, at least that, that's not gonna fuck up the other. Oh, that's. Nope, it still does. Actually, it doesn't. <laughs> I made it to the side a bit. You Let made me, me fall down. <laughs> when you use a bob bomb, it will make sure that the gemstones do not regenerate and then you can fully make your path. It's kind of tricky though because you can bob bomb too much and wreck up your thing. So what you also need is paths that are parallel to each other and you can make it at both sides. Now the reason you need this is because the diorite will regenerate when you are close to it or in the chunk that you are. 
Again, there are some issues with this doll. It's kind of strange because although it does regenerate when you go into chunks, there are some parts that do not seem to work. They just don't regenerate and they leave empty spots. But for the most part, it will fill up again over time as you walk along it. And that is why if you have parallel ones, you can just do one row while another row is regenning. We have been testing this out in several servers, but we don't have the best number of rows yet. We did it with three rows though, but it takes quite some time to set it up. So, I want to get up at... Oh. Oh, everything respawned, right? Uh, no, not yet. Where did you go? I want to... Okay, I'm going to stay in one of the empty patch to see if... If it's going to respawn or is it just bug and not going to respawn at all? Yeah, I'm going to try and get Skeda. Skeda is... So you do actually get mining XP from the respawn blocks as well. But there are still a couple of issues, like the empty spots that we can't seem to figure out. So if you want to help out yourself, you can try this method and let us know what happened for you. How were your worm spawn chances? How long did it take to regen everything? Did everything even regen? And let me know in the comments of this video. But you're probably wondering where did all this information come from because Sample doesn't even like mining. And you are correct. All this info came from the episode Chad, Bell Cipher123, and his old friend because they have been doing worms and scatters for a long, long time. Now, I didn't know Obama played Skyblock. Anyways, this is Bell's friend and he spent about 1 month or 300 hours and this was back in August so now he has way more to get 2500 worm kills and around 500 skadoodle kills so that's about 1 in 6. And he unlocked the legendary loot. They actually decided to do a little trolling because the chances that you see here are not correct. They added 2 extra zeros and everybody believed this because the person in question was number one in kills. Now, the wiki will show you the real numbers, which is without the two zeros, so it's a legendary loot, but still very hard to get. The funny thing, however, is that they trolled a lot of people with this, but they got trolled back. The admins, they trolled them. Some time ago, the worm chances were updated, and the admins also said that they would make the pet easier to get, but they never did, because the chances just stayed the same. People believed that they got better though because they believed the initial numbers, which were fake. So yeah, in the end, nothing has changed and the pet takes a long time to get. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.